Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. This problem showed up on my student's homework, so let's take a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this type of problems. Let's do a quick recap on the properties of a logarithm. Log is very powerful in that when you have two products, A times B, when you take a natural log, it gets to be a log A plus log B. And if A is equal to B, then log A squared, A times A, becomes twice of log A. So in essence, this little two here, like a hat, is going to fall off in the front. So the hat can fall off. Log takes the exponentials, put it in the front. The second property is pretty powerful in that logarithm and uh, exponentials go hand in hand. And you grab the same base over here, you can swap whatever you're taking log with what's on the right hand side. Just like adding and subtracting goes together, multiplication and division go together, logarithm and exponential go hand in hand. So let's take a quick look at analysis then. The analysis looks something like this. I'm going to move all my variables to one side. Uh, I am going to use the property 1b, basically, in that so I have a 2 in front. I'm going to put the 2 back onto the hat. I want to do that because I want to make sure this item here, I'm taking natural log off, it's clean because I want to use property number 2 to rewrite into exponential form. e to the 5 is just the number, and x minus 3, that I can handle if I take a radical root or square roots of this. I can solve for x. And once again, I'm solving for x, so I need dig x out by itself. Uh, right, rewriting this one is a pretty easy. If you grab onto the base, you're going to swap whatever you're taking log with what's, with what's on the right-hand side, pretty much what the property number 2 says. All right, let's finish up uh, writing the solution then. All right, so here's the solution. I moved uh, both variables onto one side and add them together, and then I put the two back onto the hat using the earlier properties I discussed before. And then I put a natural log, I have the base in there, which is base is E. The reason I want to put in there so I can rewrite it into the exponential form. The reason I want to put exponential form is so I can dig x minus 3 out on its own. And I grabbed the base and swapped whatever I'm taking log off onto the right-hand side. I swapped it and rewrote it into the exponential form. Taking radical roots on both sides, or square roots on both sides, I can see x can be a 3 plus minus square root of e to the fifth. But because x minus 3 has to be bigger than 0, one of the root is not uh, efficient or is not... Um, is not uh, available sufficient. I think that's the word I was looking for. So x is equal to 3 plus radical square roots of e to the 5. That's the final answer. Well, I hope that helped. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please subscribe to this channel to receive future free lessons. As always, I appreciate and welcome your comments and questions. Have a confident day.